A man is driving on a deserted road in Devil's Gate, North Dakota when his car suddenly breaks down. He checks his phone for help but finds that there is no service available. Without any other options, he gets out of his car and approaches a seemingly abandoned family compound. The man trespasses and walks around the compound but finds the area secluded. Upon hearing a noise, he stumbles across a basement where a raging man is shouting. Alarmed, he tries to flee but gets stuck in a chain man trap which injures his foot. The man cries in pain while freeing his foot before running away as fast as he can. However, he is then caught in a bigger metal trap, killing him just before he could leave. Later, the raging man named Jackson Pritchard comes out of the house and discovers the dead man's body. He covers the man with a white sheet before burying him. As Jackson comes back to the house, he shouts at a heavily locked door where loud banging noises come from. Meanwhile, FBI agent Daria Francis leaves the city and flies to Devil's Gate to meet with Deputy Conrad Colt Salter, a local police officer in town. They drive to the police station, where she is briefed by Sheriff Grunewell about the case of a missing woman named Maria Pritchard and her son Jonah. Agent Daria learns that it was Maria's sister who reported that she was missing instead of her husband, Jackson Pritchard, making him the prime suspect for the case. She suggests talking to Jackson herself, but Sheriff Grunewell insists that he is innocent. He shows her Maria's car which was also missing, implying that Maria just ran away with her son Jonah. Agent Daria begins to question Sheriff Grunewell for seemingly defending Jackson and preventing her from questioning him. In defense, the sheriff tells her that Jackson and Colt went to high school together and that he has known Jackson his whole life. Sheriff Grunewell then orders Colt to take Agent Daria to Maria's sister instead. Before leaving the police station, Agent Daria warns Sheriff Grunewell and tells him that she will find Maria and Jonah. In the police car, Agent Daria and Colt drive to visit Maria's sister, Theresa Locke. She and Colt talk about Tanya Breland, the first real case that was assigned to Agent Daria. Similar to Maria, Tanya Breland also went missing for a year until Agent Daria was able to track her in a homeless shelter. According to Agent Daria, Tanya ran away and did not want to come back home. Tanya would not tell her the reason why, so Agent Daria just brought her back home. But Tanya later showed up in her office and told Daria that she ruined her life before killing herself on the spot. As she tells the story to Colt, Agent Daria expresses her guilt for not being able to save Tanya. Therefore, she personally requested to handle Maria's case when she heard about it. After a while, they arrive at Theresa's house. Theresa tells them that Maria and her son Jonah usually come to her place when it gets stressful in their home. She explains, saying that Jackson has changed in the last couple of years. Maria and Jackson married young and had suffered half a dozen miscarriages before she gave birth to Jonah. Jackson used to be an upright man who always goes to church but now gets angry by the little things and shows abusive behavior. Later, Daria and Colt investigate Jonah's small room inside a closet. She finds Jonah's notebook filled with his eerie drawings, sneaking it in her coat. Right then, Jonah's grandmother approaches Agent Daria and eagerly pleads with her to investigate Jackson. After the questioning, Agent Daria becomes more convinced that they should be issuing a search warrant for Jackson. On the other hand, Colt interrupts her and stands up for Jackson, saying that he is a good person. In turn, Agent Daria shows Colt one of Jonah's drawings which illustrates a boy crying in front of an angry man. She points out that Jonah was scared of his father and manages to convince Colt to interrogate Jackson. The two arrive in the Pritchard residence and find the broken car nearby, which belonged to the previous dead man. Inside the house, Jackson wakes up from his nap after hearing his dog bark. He senses someone approaching his house, growing vigilant. Colt decides to talk to Jackson first while Agent Daria checks around the backyard. She slowly steps inside a barn and discovers countless pieces of metal equipment. Moving further, Agent Daria also finds Marita's car in the barn which they thought was missing. Just then, Jackson appears behind Agent Daria, aiming a shotgun at her. Jackson threatens Agent Daria and leads her out of the barn, ordering her and Colt to leave his property immediately. Colt distracts him and Agent Daria manages to attack Jackson and take his shotgun away. Agent Daria urges Jackson to tell her where Maria and Jonah are, but Jackson repeatedly answers that they are not in the house. He gets handcuffed as Colt watches him, while Agent Daria takes Jackson's keys to search the house. Jackson then asks Colt to stop Agent Daria, telling him that Maria and Jonah might die if she comes in, but Colt stays silent. Inside, Agent Daria boldly explores the house and learns how highly religious Jackson and his family are. She makes her way into the rooms and later reaches the basement where the locked door is located. Agent Daria is in distress while looking at the door, and she decides to unlock it. Just then, the electricity in the house shuts off. Agent Daria uses a lamp to explore the basement and finds someone lying inside a cage. 
Unable to see clearly, Agent Daria pokes on the lying creature but finds an unusual substance coming out from it. She approaches another cage nearby, and to her surprise, she encounters a shadowed figure that looks like an alien. At the same time, Jackson hears from Colt that Agent Daria has reached the basement. In a rush, he sneakily attempts to free himself from the handcuffs, pushing Colt to stop searching. As soon as he breaks free, Jackson runs towards the house but Colt stops him. Shortly after, Agent Daria steps out of the house looking confused. She realizes that the case has gotten more strange and decides to interrogate Jackson about the mysterious figure in the basement. Jackson claims that Mary and Jonah were taken by the alien creatures, which he calls demons. After successfully catching a few, he kept them locked in a cage as hostage in an attempt to bring his family back. Agent Daria, on the other hand, is unable to comprehend Jackson's claims. She suspects that the creatures are of his family members who he tried to experiment on. Agent Daria and Colt arrest Jackson and are about to drive away from the house, but their police vehicle and phones have completely shut down. Also, the same thing happened to the car they previously found. While they check on the car engine, Jackson criticizes them for not believing his claims. Agent Daria goes back to check Maria's car, but finds nothing since its battery is also dead. At that moment, an unusual cloud formation creates a ruckus as strong lightning bolts suddenly strike around the farm. Agent Daria is forced to move Jackson out of the vehicle and into the house. Colt retreats with them inside the house, but he accidentally steps on one of Jackson's traps, injuring his leg in the process. While waiting for the lightning bolts to pass, Agent Daria takes a first aid kit and tends to Colt's injury. Looking outside the window, she thinks she saw a figure emerging from a lightning bolt that hid in the middle of the farm. As Agent Daria shares her observation, Jackson hears his dog bark and becomes wary of the surroundings. He calls their attention and demands to go out, believing that Maria and Jonah could be outside. Agent Daria accompanies Jackson as they walk outside the house. They immediately catch sight of Maria, who is lying naked on the ground. Despite being confused, Agent Daria covers Maria with her coat. Jackson pleads with Agent Daria to free him in a rush to bring his wife back to their house. Agent Daria quickly releases him and helps Maria get dressed, but Colt cuffs him back as soon as they return. Maria wakes up at the sight of Jackson, as she immediately looks for their son Jonah. When Jackson tells her that they did not find him, she breaks down in tears. She begins to blame Jackson for the disappearance of their son, until Agent Daria interrupts them. Agent Daria questions the couple about the mysterious creature she saw earlier, forcing them to explain to the officers. According to them, Maria and Jonah intended to spend the night in Theresa's house one evening, but Jonah fell sick. The couple had an argument because Jackson did not want to send Jonah to a hospital and pay for a doctor. Being highly religious and socially reclusive, Jackson convinced Maria to seek out the angel's help. They laid Jonah's sick body in the middle of the farm and offered a prayer, asking for help to cure Jonah. Just then a group of alien creatures from the sky took Jonah's body away. Maria began to panic and she found herself also taken along by the aliens. Jackson couldn't save his wife and kid, so he captured two of the aliens in a hurry and had kept them in separate cages inside their basement. Moreover, Jackson admits to them that it was not his first encounter with the aliens. Before he and Maria got married, Jackson recalls being taken by the creatures but does not have any memories about what happened in detail. He used to believe that they were angels sent from above, but after Jonah and Maria were taken, he thinks of them as demons. As another thunder breaks out, they hear the creature in the basement let out a wail. Agent Daria, Jackson, Maria, and Deputy Colt walk to the basement to check on the wailing creature. Jackson harasses the captured alien to shut up, but the alien continuously howls. He stops after hearing heavy footsteps coming from the ceiling. Jackson then announces that more aliens have arrived in their family compound. Daria uncuffs Jackson as he and Colt sneak outside to turn on the generator, which will activate the live wires around their house. As Jackson works on the generator, Colt is on the lookout for the alien creatures. Meanwhile, the door to the basement slowly opens, making Agent Daria aim her gun towards the entrance. The alien in the cage distracts Daria and a bigger creature emerges behind her. The creature with a large disfigured head and gel-like skin attacks Daria, but she manages to shoot at it. The creature suddenly disappears as soon as the electricity in the house is revived. Later, Jackson and Colt reunite with Maria and Daria, and they all step out of the basement. Deputy Colt asks Agent Daria about the sudden gunshot, and she tells them about their previous encounter with an alien. They briefly go outside the house to find Jackson's dog. To their shock, they find the dog ripped open at the roof of the house. When they gather back inside, Jackson grows more enraged towards the aliens. The four spread out to secure the house and look for more weapons. Jackson, who wants to end the aliens for good, is confronted by Colt. 
Colt displays his doubts in eliminating the aliens, which they believe to be God's creatures. Nonetheless, Jackson persuades Colt, and together they come back to the basement to threaten the captured alien once again. After cutting one of its fingers, Jackson runs to the farm and digs on the land. Daria and Colt follow Jackson, and they watch as he reveals a round metal platform with strange patterns in the middle of the farm. Jackson places the alien's finger on the platform, which is a portal for the aliens. He intends on sending a warning message, demanding them to bring Jonah back. Back in the house, Daria claims that she has seen the same pattern from the portal. She shows Jackson and Maria the same pattern she found in Jonah's drawing notebook, as she begins to speculate that Jonah also knows about the aliens. Jackson, Daria, Maria, and Colt return to the basement to seek more answers from the captured aliens. To their dismay, they find one of the aliens already dead. Jackson rushes inside the cage in order to keep the remaining captured alien alive. He comes into physical contact with the alien, and all of a sudden, his forgotten memories come back to him. In his memories, Jackson was brought to an alien ship, where the aliens have created a replica in his form. The alien replica of Jackson descended back on Earth, living as the current Jackson married to Maria, while the real Jackson has been destroyed inside the ship. The current Jackson on Earth, who is then revealed to be one of the aliens, struggles to accept his recalled memories. He experiences an identity crisis and breaks down on the corner of the basement. Maria looks at Jackson with anger and dread, finally realizing that her real husband is long gone. She shows Daria and Colt the bones of the dead children they had before marriage, who the alien replica Jackson labels as abominations. It was only Jonah who was successfully conceived after their marriage, which happened around the time alien Jackson descended on Earth. Later, Jackson shares more of his regained memories. He tells them that the aliens have begun to take over the Earth because their own planet is dying. Through the years, the alien creatures have settled on the farmland of the Pritcher family and have taken possession of their bodies for generations. Jonah, being the only naturally born half-human and half-alien, is deemed by the aliens as their savior. Every alien creature is intended to be reborn within the bodies of humans, and Jonah is apparently the one who will lead the future of the aliens. Colt is angered by Jackson's revelation and is about to attack him, but Daria pushes him away. He argues with Daria, convinced that Jonah is also one of the aliens and could be completely taken over already. On the other hand, Daria opens up the possibility that Jonah could also be normal just like any other human being. Just then, another loud thunderstorm strikes at the farmhouse which incapacitates their generator. Therefore, Colt comes up from the basement and checks the farm on the window. He steps back after seeing an alien approaching the house, further locking down the door using a chair. Yet, the alien breaks the door of the house's main entrance, forcing its way inside the house. Colt hides, catching sight of the tall alien with a disfigured head. The alien lets out a strong vibrational energy, which urges Colt to come out of his hiding place. He faces the alien head-on and shoots his gun at it, but to no avail. The alien creature screeches at Colt, and it attacks him with a stronger vibrational force. Colt shouts in agony as its impact rips his chest open, leading to his immediate death. Meanwhile, Agent Daria suggests that they should negotiate with the aliens rather than fighting them because they are outnumbered. However, Jackson remains confused about his identity, and his morale is weakened by his recalled memories. Agent Daria persuades him that he is human because of his strong determination to protect his family. Mary approaches Jackson and reminds him about their son Jonah, who needs them now more than ever. Jackson gets up, seemingly preparing to face the aliens, but instead he knocks Agent Daria unconscious while she is distracted. He inspects her and steals her gun before walking towards the cage. In shock, Maria shouts at Jackson, and he shuts her off before carrying the captured alien out of the cage. Around the same time, the tall alien creature shows up in the basement. The tall alien ignores Jackson and heads towards Maria. Maria stares back in terror, and she shakes while the alien brushes its long fingers on her face. After some time, Agent Daria wakes up and finds Maria alone in the basement. Maria tells Agent Daria that Jackson has left with the other aliens, taking the bones of their dead children along. Daria leaves the basement, promising Maria that she will find Jonah for her. She tears up as soon as she sees Colt's dead body and apologizes to him. Shortly after, she takes Colt's gun to chase after Jackson. Outside, Jackson has brought back the captured alien in exchange for Jonah. Jonah has been returned, and he emerges from the portal. He rushes towards his father and reunites with a hug. However, Jackson believes that his son is fully taken over by the aliens already. He then aims a gun at Jonah's head, in an attempt to stop the immoral cycle of alien creatures repeatedly taking over the bodies of their family. Agent Daria arrives in time to interrupt Jackson, urging him to release Jonah. At the same time, Jonah begs his father to spare him. 
They fail to convince Jackson, and he is about to shoot Jonah on the head, when Maria appears behind Jackson. Before he could pull the trigger, Maria kills Jackson using his own shotgun. She calls over Jonah and hugs him soon after. Maria orders Agent Daria to drop her gun and threatens her not to take Jonah away. Agent Daria reasons with her, pointing out that it would be better for Jonah to be tested so they can know his condition. But Maria does not care about his condition because she loves Jonah no matter what he is. Meanwhile, the tall alien on the portal lets out a loud screeching sound. Before it disappears, the alien emits another strong vibrational energy that creates a large crater in the middle of the farm. The next day, the local police authorities led by Sheriff Grunwell gather in the Pritchard family compound to investigate the incident. After talking to Maria, Sheriff Grunwell informs Agent Daria that her initial suspicions were correct. Maria confirms that Jackson is the prime suspect and that he was a lunatic who tried to kill their son Jonah. Through Maria's statement, Sheriff Grunwell and the local police conclude that Jackson is accountable for the disappearance of Maria and Jonah. He is also accused of allegedly killing Colt and creating a man-made bomb which left a huge crater in the middle of the farm. Agent Daria is confused about the sudden accusation towards Jackson, telling the sheriff that she mentioned alien creatures in her report. Sheriff Grunwell reminds Agent Daria that she is an FBI agent and talking about alien invasion will impact her career negatively. Unless she can provide evidence that points to the existence of the aliens, the sheriff closes the case of Maria and Jonah. He then sends Daria back home through the police car. Daria examines Jonah's drawings, giving one last look at the child before the car drives away. She wonders whether there is a way she could possibly prove the alien invasion, knowing that her only evidence is Jonah's drawing notebook, which would be easily dismissed as mere scribbles. Throughout the end, Jonah is confirmed to be taken over by the aliens as Maria finds him unraveling the floor of the barn, where alien capsules have been stored for years. Jonah looks at Maria, prepared to begin his mission on leading the future of the aliens.